and gentlemen to Saturday Night Live. We're having some technical problems guys. We're meant to be getting joined by Mike from Making Bigfoot tonight and we're having some weird stuff happening. Uh, Dakota's, there's been like a shadow behind Dakota. Um, we'll work it for a little minute and then we'll try and get Mike back in. So how are you Drew and how are you Dakota? I'm okay guys, I'm fine yeah. I'm intrigued. Yep. Yes. I know what yeah, the heck so is going on here. Yeah, for you guys in the podcast world and Amazon and Spotify, Dakota's got a light grid set up behind them. Before we came live, I seen a figure walk behind him. And it was just like a black silhouette. It was weird. It's, it's very strange. Um, yeah, Mike the Naked Bigfoot, try again, please. Hey, Scottish Outlooker. Um, strange things are happening tonight, guys. What's that, what's that for Scottish Outlooker there? I'm buzzing. It's WrestleMania. <laughs> there you go. There you go, there you go. We, could, we could take up wrestling. We, the two is we could dress up as wrestlers. What do you think? Why do you keep wanting to see me in tights? <laughs> I'm getting a little concerned oh, here, sir. I know, I know, I know. I can't around but you. I would li- I'd like to see everybody on the Facebook side and everybody on YouTube and all the other, what is it, 55 locations? Somewhere around there. Yeah, somewhere around there. So, guys, tonight we're just going to be having a, a night where we talk about anything. We're having a... A bald and bonkers night, you know. And Drina's here. Mike the Naked Bigfoot is here. He's trying, at least. Mike, can you hear us? Guys, can I just say before we do go on, I logged on to Parapost today for the first time. Nope. On the Everybody's so fracked. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> Mike. Know. Oh my god, he's, he's got an Android. I'm almost wondering if it's anything to do with the the, the Echo Enhance. I'm I'm, I'm not very clever when it comes to technology, as Dakota here knows. Yeah, frustrating when you some days. Ah, well, you know. Um, it's going to be one of the nights. It's, it's going to be one of the nights and. Did Chris just lose his audio? <laughs> and I, it's 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 oh. Yuzo disappeared in me. And then you disappeared in us. Yeah. Wow. I think okay, we have the active night. Not problems. exactly the excitement I had in mind. I Between the think... sky looking false in our area to this. Mm-hmm. I think something is afoot, as Sherlock Holmes would say. Something is going on, and it's either StreamYard, it's no internet, I just checked my internet, I'm getting 65 meg download, you know, I'm fine, 
Um, yeah, I'm about to do my I phone. Just got the five G phone. Yeah. No, I don't see the hype that Chris was trying to brag about, but it's weird. It's, it's, I went a walk tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, empty in the chat. I don't know if any's experienced this tonight. Drew did. It just felt kind of weird tonight. And I don't know what it is. I mean, it's just like it's as if there's like you could cut, cut it with a knife. That's mm-hmm. how weird. Yeah. It is. And I'm just wondering if it's anything, there's something about to happen in the world, you know? We well, like I said before the break, you got to remember there is solar flare activity right now, yes. so that could contribute to some of it, but I don't know. I, th- I think there's problems with StreamYard, too. I've, I don't know, I just think there's something wrong with StreamYard. It's. It's strange. What are you going to say there, Drew? There will be a lot of people on the network right now with StreamYard because it is kind yeah. of prime time. Yeah. But it shouldn't make a difference that much. So, guys... This is a false sky in our area tonight. Yeah. When I was out a walk, yeah. my daughter's in back up. The sky is brownish with just a streaky cloud as if they've just been painted there. It just looks so false. That's strange. Yep. Scottish Outlander, I like his little remark here. Feels like the calm before the storm. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know what it is, right? I've obviously my psychic abilities and stuff like that. I just don't know what it is. It's as if something is about to happen. Yeah. Something really bad is about to happen. You know, yeah. I don't know if it's related, but it does kind of correlate when some weird things have been popping out with us. AJ, our demonologist contact, he swears that he keeps getting flashed for visions and pardon the disturbing imagery that I'm about to share, but basically piles of burning bodies. Mm. Mm. Faces cut off the whole nine yards. It's it's definitely perking up. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I I was playing about with the tarot cards earlier, and I get some strange readings. I get some weird kind of readings that said something, something's going to change soon. What about you, Drew? That's Have you done any worrying, readings? That's worrying, Dakota. Do you want to know why? Because there's some war crimes and things. There's actually a lot of knowledge coming out of, in Ukraine right now about some yeah. of the disturbing things that the Russian soldiers are doing. So that is actually pretty worrying. Yeah, and let's just say we all have experience with the thing he believes is showing him these images. Right, okay, right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Thank guys, you, in the chat, do you want, will I post the link in the chat if anybody wants to come up? And yeah, sure. Meet, meet us all. Do you want do you want to come up? With, if your internet will hold, you can uh, come and talk to us crazy people, you know? <laughs> Hang out with us. I'm tonight, but my goodness. Yeah. I, I'm getting sidetracked here. I'm really, I'm really annoyed in a way because I was wanting Mike to come on tonight. Mm-hmm. Because I just, I wanted, to, I just wanted to talk to Mike. I thought it would have been a really interesting night tonight with the three years, with the four years talking strange yeah. things, you know. And try again in a little while, Mike, if you are, um, if you can hear us. Try again in a little while. I mean, we've we've got a couple of announcements, but I'll leave the Dakota. Do you want to do any announcements the now, or do you want to leave them till after? Oh well, I'm, well, I guess we can I'll go ahead and start with the first major one. Oh yeah. For the last little bit, I know that there's some people that have been starting to doubt due to the fact that we're taking so long. I don't know what we're wrong, but everything's sorted out. Bald and Bonkers is now officially a, an official company. There you go. Just got the paperwork two days ago. Unfortunately, it takes about another 30 days for everything to update to where it recognizes us so we can get to everything we want to do. But, yes. <clears throat> but I, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing, yeah. Dakota. You know? And you know what I really like? I really like the yeah. webpage. Oh, I thank That's you. That's good. You know, I was, I was, have you seen that through the webpage? 
Yeah, I was having a look yesterday and I was on it today mm. again. Yes, it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. All the lights are there as well to all the different places that you go out to, so that's really good to get that's to play. Right. Mm-hmm. Really so Drew, have, Drew, have you got any news you want to tell everybody in the chat? You're going to be having MD on your channel or anything like that? Before we start yes, talking about we have things. got Haunted Finders coming this week. Dave and Tom, of course, they're coming for a chat. Mm-hmm. We just need to figure out the days. Mm-hmm. I also have excuse me, Jared King and Queen Laura coming on on Monday night. We just need to arrange the time because the time difference, but it will happen. And we've also got Lady Grave Dancer and Crescent Ooh. Moon, who's some of the top witches of YouTube that I think is coming on this week as well. The time difference is a killer, but we will work it out so we can come to you live and it'll be really interesting. Yeah. Especially haunted finders because we're going to be talking about all the haunted woods, especially Sherwood. Yeah, I seen I seen that they actually I seen the video, I watched a little bit of it. I mean that the tree in Sherwood Forest, that's that's you seen that tree, it's something like what is it, seven hundred yeah. years old or something They're like that, old. even more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean that you think of the energies that must be in Sherwood Forest and then you think about the spirits that are roaming there right now. I just no, have to, I just have to th- what? No, I was just that's, saying, that's, that's actually that popped into my he- my head when I was I, I had this vision of Brian with with a set of green tights on, yes I'm talking about tights again. And a little hat with a, a feather sticking out the top of it, and that, that was Brian marching away, you know. Yeah, um, that was a weird thing about bald, big bald men in tights, man. Well, well I, Does that mean to have a know, talk with your brother? It's, 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 look, look, I can't help it, right? But that's but Robin Hood wore tights, didn't he? I mean, that's what he wore green yeah. tights. He did, he, he, he wore, well, actually, that's fictional, isn't it? Robin Hood. I mean, the truth about Robin Hood, it, it didn't look nothing like that the storybooks tell, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, so is there anybody in the chat would like to ask Dakota any questions, or Drew? Oh yeah, you know? it's just an open mic night tonight, guys, uh, yeah. mostly because we were trying to be careful about scheduling guests with the daylight savings difference between the US and UK. Yes. We just have to work it out, guys. It gets a bit... Because sometimes where we are and then the time difference is just during the week especially when people work, it's hard to weigh up yeah. in between. Mm-hmm. Wait, is that a, out. Here we have... Is that a new subscriber we've got? Is that through Facebook? Yes. No, Hello. 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 There you go. This is my channel. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear God, guys! I, I was wanting Mike to come on tonight. I'm really annoyed now. I'm no. really, really annoyed. Yeah, Mike, you know? We do have an interesting guest coming on yeah. on Sunday, April 10th. That might be interesting. Chances are, if you've seen any programs involving Sasquatch, you're going to be familiar with the name of Dr. Jeff Meldrum. Yeah. He is actually a professor of anatomy and anthropology at Idaho State University, so he's about two miles away from me. Yeah. Not two miles, two hours. I don't know why. I said he is actually going to be joining us for an interview. There you go. I mean, I'm looking. I'm looking forward uh, to. I've been watching his stuff, his documentaries that he does, and wow, see, I want to learn all about. I call him Big Feet. You know, networks go to guy when it comes to Bigfoot stuff. Yeah. Uh, and Bigfoot is an actually a very interesting topic. Oh, thank you, Suze, for giving us a subscribe. I mean, Bigfoot is an a- actually interesting subject. I mean, you think about all the different types of Bigfoot there's meant to be. I mean, there's the ones in Australia, what are they called again, Dakota? They've got kind of like red eyes. Oh, I've put you in the spot here, what are they called? Well, there's a couple different names Australia uses. I've heard, mm-hmm. if I remember correctly, the earring. But it's also the Australian wild man. But it's, you know, just like with everything else in Australia, those are some of the more violent ones. But it's, I mean, I know some people that's listening to this will maybe not believe in Bigfoot, but there is a lot of evidence pointing that there is something. There is something that's been covered up. 
I mean, you just need to look at the US National Park Service. They're, no, they're notorious for covering stuff up. I mean, um, I found it very interesting. I, I mean, I was listening to this guy, is it David Pilides, his name is, and he was talking about missing 411. Have mm-hmm. you ever seen that, Dakota? Have you seen that, Drew? They have seen a couple of episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they, talk about, they talk about how people just disappear in the woods. See, the thing that these things come in and out of portals, so who's to say that they don't drag these things, people through the portals and things, we just don't know. I would never call anybody a liar for anything they believe or anything they see, because you just don't know until you experience it yourself. Well, it's when you say that, right, I mean, um, it's, there was this one story, right, I think it was um, Yosemite, Yosemite National Park, Mm -hmm. and there was a family out walking. Right, so the father and the mother was in front, and the grandfather and the brother was behind him, and there was someone in the middle. Right? I can't remember, it was like a cousin or something was in the middle. And they were walking through this, like, cut rock. Now, there was nowhere to go. Nowhere. Right. They turned round, and the person in the middle just disappeared. They, they spent... Is it three or four days searching that entire park? They had the National Guard out, they had everyone out looking, scoured that place, didn't find a, didn't find a thing, right? Six months down the road, um, there's hikers out, and there they find the pile of bones, all neatly packed, on top of each other with a skull on the top. Mm-hmm. So something ate them, probably. And the thing, well, the bo- the strange thing with the bones was as if they were bleached. They were very, very smooth. So it makes you something maybe has come out a portal, grabbed that person and pulled them in. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I wouldn't call anybody a liar that says these things. I really wouldn't. Because unless you stay there in that place and know the environment, who's to say? We just don't know. Yeah. What's your thoughts on it, Dakota? I mean, you you know quite a lot about the old Bigfoot and that, especially people disappearing. Well, a lot of times, wildlife officials, they'll just assume that it's just some idiot that got too cocky in the wilderness. And it happens a lot. We There was a few years back where a family out of California rallied to get a lot of the dams shut down to cut off water flow mm-hmm. because... One of their relatives got lost yeah. and went missing. They figured he went under the water and got caught somewhere. Mm-hmm. This actually got to the point where they tried mm-hmm. to resort to psychics who told them yeah. that this guy faked his death and that he would be found on the rocks. Well, they lowered the water level couldn't find him. They couldn't keep it down any longer because of this area really relies on hydropower. Mm-hmm. As soon as they let the water flow through, as everybody thought, it jerked the body just right to where it surfaced. So technically, I guess the part about him being found on the rocks mm-hmm. it was true, but that also describes most of Idaho wilderness. As far as that particular story we're missing 411, it's not uncommon for apes, you know, like chimpanzees, mm-hmm. to show ritual behaviors. Yeah. Like how you would compare to old indigenous tribes. Mm-hmm. So if Bigfoot's supposed to be just a seven foot tall gorilla with human like intelligence, that's not that far out there. Yeah. And what a lot of people also don't know is that Theodore Roosevelt, the person who started the National Park Service here in the US, he was an avid outdoorsman. He had his own encounter with Bigfoot. And the conspiracy is that he started the National Park Service to, quote-unquote, technically preserve the land, but also help keep people away from these dangerous creatures. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I was listening to that, and Drew knows about this, too, about the missing 411. The most interesting case that's intrigued me with that, I couldn't get my head around about this. It was a family... And they had a five-year-old. The five-year-old was playing in clear sight, right? Disappeared, right? So obviously the mother's distraught. And I think the National Guard, the, the police, they had 
volunteers for a week, they searched the woods. Right. They searched everywhere. Nothing. A couple of months down the lines, a hiker climbing a... You know how you get the free, uh, free climbing people that like to climb like, beside the cliffs and that with no ropes? They must be mad, but anyway. This guy, this guy, about 20 miles from where this little boy was, right, camped with his mother and father, right, climbed up to the top of this kind of ledge, and there was the dead body of the boy. Now, they had searched there, and there was nothing. So how did that little boy of five make it 20 miles away? And on top of a hill, the only way up was climbing. Exactly. Which... I think there's more, I think, I think there's, I think people get took, and I don't know why they get took, maybe they get it, and I don't know. Well, interesting I think that, that they give the bones back, though, well, isn't it? I mean, that is really interesting, yes. because if they know that human feeling of, look, if only we knew what happened or something, so they make sure that they return something of the person. I don't know, that's really strange, it's interesting that they do do that. Yeah. It makes you wonder if it's a warning though. Mm. What do you think, Dakota? Do you think yeah. it might be a warning? Stay out of this woods. This is what will happen to you. Oh, if Mike is on the chat, he can verify. They can be yeah. highly territorial. Yeah. If you're over towards the West Coast, they tend to be a little bit friendlier if you mind, mind your own business, you don't cause a whole lot of hate and discontent, yeah. they'll leave you alone. Yeah. If they feel comfortable around you, they might approach you. But that's one-off situation but somewhere towards where Mike lives they've been known to get violent steal cattle hijack people mm-hmm. eat dogs and interestingly Not enough trees mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and that's, interestingly enough, yeah there's some reports of where their teeth look like they've been filed down like the cannibal tribes out of South America right they've been filed down to be sharper Yes, yeah, so they can cut through the flesh and stuff. Yeah. It's me, they would have to adapt. <clears throat> the more that humans adapt to different things, they would have to adapt as well so they could survive. So. Mm-hmm. I'll just post the link in the chat again. If anybody wants to join, please click on the link and join us. Um, hey, hey, Smith family. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else we got there? I'm um, on. Hello, Shannon. Hello. Welcome to Dakota's Mummy. Um, <laughs> Dakota's Mummy. You know, you look at me, he's getting all blushed now. Here's Samuel. Here's Samuel. Um, look at him, he's, get, he's getting all blushed now. We don't want to embarrass him, you know. What? 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 You see, guys, this is why we're called Bald and Bonkers, because we're raving lunatics. Hey, you know, I mean, there's something that I've never talked about in this show, Dakota, and I, you probably know about this. What about what about that incident that happened in was it Siberia, and the campers got attacked? Oh remember? yeah, oh the Detov Pass or however it's pronounced. That's that. Yep. That's well, it. I was actually watching a, a program on it. Is that uh, unexplained with William Shatner? Mm-hmm. There is one explanation that's offered that in order to really debunk it, you would have to fly out that way, and we don't exactly feel safe in Russian airspace right now. <laughs> well, basically, something about the way the mountains are formed causes yeah. this weird echo effect that can yeah. cause psychosis. That's the explanation that's being tossed right now. Right. There's old stories of this giant monster howling out, and the second you hear it, you go crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, the way the sound reverberates and registers inside the mind causes a lot of extremely low frequencies that have been known to cause psychosis, as well as, mm-hmm. in fact, you can actually overload the body system with this particular frequency and make someone ex- practically explode from the inside. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the black and white footage of the, the Russian soldiers finding the bodies. I mean, they looked like they had been in a hideous bad fight, as if they were trying to kill each other. I mean, some have suggested that it it was all it could have been some type of big foot. 
that was uh, trying to protect its territory. Mm. Or I think I think that one with Dakota that's very interesting actually with the frequencies. Because that's how that's actually they actually use that now, didn't they? Dakota they use that for crowd control frequencies. Well, yeah, there's some parts that play freaking Britney Spears songs in order to oh call that riot. Oh, God. That, that, this is a true story, but yes, there are actually what they're called direct energy weapons that several militaries have started utilizing mm-hmm. to help with crowd control, but also utilize just light and sound. Yep. And some of the things they can do to people with these types of weapons oh, yeah. is horrific. <laughs> You think you think of the technology that's out there. I mean, you get sound weapons, and you get sound can. I mean, some sound the reckon can actually change things. You know, I mean, was that Phoenix? I've just seen. I've just seen who else is in the chat there. That same person. But it's just. It's just. Uh, I, I try to watch the chat, guys, and I try and to talk at the same time it's really really difficult you know because I can't what, that, this is where I get him you know he's great he does everything it, you know yeah give you a compliment you know I'm giving you a compliment man you know what's this my kids wheel of war there's Brian J. Leverty oh, in the chat we're just fantasizing about him that's right. So, so Brian, see when you see when you were at Sherwood Forest, me and Dakota were wondering, were you were you ri- riding about, you know, like dressed as Robin Hood, with his band of merry ghost hunters, feared by the girls, loved by the good, you know. I'm interested to see because Tom and Haunted Finders is they've been there loads of times, but they've been there to the different parts of the park as well. They've been to the famous parts and they've been to the parts that's not so famous. They've been to the really ancient parts as well. So it's going to be really interesting to talk to Tom and yeah. Dave and see what parts of the park he thinks is the worst, etc. Yeah. Those um, are questions set up. That's where we should go, Drew. We should go to Nottingham Forest to do an investigation, you know. I'm going down to Nottingham in June. I'll be spending I mean, the, down there. Mm-hmm. I, I think it'd be great, you know. I no, mean. I'm I'm looking. I'm looking forward to. I still to invite Brian back on the show with Lex to hear all about the strange encounters mm-hmm. with Robin Hood. You know? Yep. Dakota looks off happy today. Oh, really good, honestly, I was on it today, and it is, it's really a good app. I'm going to promote it a lot yeah. more because it is an amazing place for us to, to go there. People with the same interests, and you don't have yeah. to explain yourself or have trolls or anything coming in. It's an amazing platform. It's better than Facebook because Facebook's yep. bad. Facebook is terrible, yeah. actually. I mean, Brian Brian knows about the Facebook situation where he posted the wee alien picture and he got banned for about a week. I, I mean, think we and Sis had the Russian government after us as well, did we not? Or the <laughs> Russian football team or something? What was it to go up? We offended them? No, 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 no. It it wasn't the Russian, it was the Pakistani cricket team that got flagged. Pakistani cricket team that offended them. Why? I know. I don't have a clue what we did or say. I mean, I mean, the best one, the best one, guys in the chat, and whoever listens to this, the best one was Dakota asked, oh, what was that, Surrey? Asked Surrey what it thought of Bald and Bonkers. Oh, God, oh, God, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, let me, ex- let me explain. <laughs> so, oh. Every now and then I do Google myself, I do Google the company, just to see how well Google. everything is going out. No, it wasn't Google. It was actually Amazon Alexa. And, oh, God, what was it that it said? I want to make sure I get this right. Yeah, I was behind someone. I sent you the screen cap, right, Chris? You did. I think you did, yeah. All right. It was... Oh, it said it was like an attractive pair that investigates fringe scientific phenomenon. I was like... Didn't you say we were... We, it didn't really say we were attractive. It said... It was yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. I remember that part. That was the first part that I had to burst yeah. out laughing. Yep. Maybe we should make that bald and bonkers hair supplement. Hey, that's right, you know. <laughs> We've been on it for years, and look, it's made wonders. 
it exactly. is but no, you, you know, well, I want to try to find it so I get this right because. So basically, what I did is I asked Amazon Alexa, "What is Bald and Bonkers?" And because we do put the shows out through IMDb to help promote it, I thought we were actually going to get an accurate answer. Yeah. But I guess it's technically, technically accurate. Oh, there it is. Come on. load. I, I just don't know. I want to see the picture. It's not like he's sending pecker pics. <laughs> well, honestly, no, I've never don't heard it's ridiculous. I've never heard it is ridiculous in my entire life is what Alexa thought of me in the car. I mean, who programs these, these things? Honestly, who programs these things? Alexa does it by herself, actually. Huh? What's that? Did you understand accent? your accent? It's, it's never misunderstood you. Know, I've got Amazon Prime Music. I've got Amazon Prime and I've got Amazon Music. And it can understand me completely fine. Well, yes, it might play the wrong song then again, but, you know. Oh, so, come Dakota, on. you know what's up? Yeah. Nah, it's taking forever to load. Oh, there it is. There it is. It, okay. Oh, God. Uh-huh. I asked Alexa, what is bald and bonkers? It said, here's something I found on the web. According to apartmenttherapy.com, it has an attractive pair investigating fringe science phenomena. The attractive pair. Mm. Creepy bald men called observers. <laughs> and the show veers into especially juicy sci-fi territory when it comes to paranormal parallel universes. Then for some reason, it says this information is not medical advice. Consult a health <laughs> professional <laughs> if you have a medical problem. <laughs> I oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh, come on! A, a creepy pairy bald man, <laughs> and don't take it medical advice. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it is ridiculous. I mean, it is ridiculous. <laughs> The artificial intelligence that's the artificial intelligence that runs the world, that runs YouTube, that runs <laughs> Facebook, and it runs Alexa. My God, who programmed that? I mean, we had some videos taken, ladies and gentlemen. We had some lives took down, which was ridiculous. You know, even a little yeah, even the a bit medical subject. misinformation when the videos were talking about UFOs. Yeah, what yeah. you say in your YouTube? I never mentioned probes or anything. I remember those lives, though, way back when you and Lewis were doing them years yeah. ago, and we, yeah. we could get a bit deep, so they've been listening to them. They've obviously yeah, listened they've been getting all this attention on us. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think, uh, there's especially for hair supplements, I think we should start doing that. I think we should get a hair supplement, you know. But, you know, yeah, I wonder what yeah, to quote up with that. Like we can help us make our own energy drinks. Our own vitamins, our own coffee. Maybe I should send that to that paranormal brew. I know that she was interested in that. But honestly, I would love to know what, what Dakota would look like. we here. You see me wear wigs. I, I can't remember that so long ago, you know? Yeah. It's yeah, a clean feed, you're all to the extra shiny look. Oh, come on, Mom. <laughs> Before he came live, he was polishing it, you know? Rub on. Rub off. <laughs> Rub on. <laughs> Got right. some pines at the front. <laughs> alright, alright. Just in case anybody doesn't believe us on the video side, I just got the picture uploaded. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, first of all, it oh, starts out at a nice saying we're an attractive pair. Alright, I guess. Then creepy bald men. It's like, what the fuck? Well, you, do that, you, you do have that effect on people. To quote, right? <laughs> I know I do. Honestly, I bet, I bet you Brian's away now asking his Alexa to do stuff now. You know? He's, you see what it says? Well, yeah, probably to see if his stuff comes up. Yeah. I mean, I've Googled myself a few times, but nothing really comes up. But when I yeah, Google Bold and Bonkers, it comes up. Yeah, I mean, when I Google Bold and Bonkers, it all comes up with the pictures and stuff, you know? 
Matt, you're because, welcome. Yeah, see, that's, that's, that's Dakota there. See, I, honestly, how do you do it, Dakota? Do you, like, take, like, speed or something like that to get through the day of doing all your work? No, I tend to sleepwalk. Okay, yeah. did you just see that? What? That shadow was back. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was like somebody was just like, poking like, whoop, and backed off. Yeah. Like, the cats aren't in here. There's no... It's coming for you. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you think that they're coming for Dakota? They're coming to get you. Yeah, that's you just fire off. Yeah. Light, light up if uh, the aliens are coming to take you away tonight, Dakota. Light, light the uh, K2 up if uh, Ashtar's coming tonight to take Dakota away for some fun. Please. No, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if I'm smart enough here, but before we came on, the K2, I was actually holding my hand up above the K2, and it was reacting to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That shouldn't really happen. That yeah. Well, that shouldn't happen, because you're not getting any electrical. Well, yeah, the human body, human body does have electric feeds, but it should not be strong enough for that to pick it up. If there's any entities there that have a message, make it flash for anyone in the room. Not for how bad YouTube's been, motherfucker. There's, there's uh, Shannon got a message there. Uh, what's this? Oh, then, oh, tell them to bring the big sheep. <laughs> what to tell Shannon? What's this about a big sheep? I want to know about this. My own mother's calling me fat. <laughs> it's not my yeah. fault the chair broke, and the couch, and the ottoman. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's. Have you got you got your ghost app? It has any of you got your ghost app? So. I the light. Says. What was that? I'm from the light. It just said. I just can't put back on. I'm from the light. I'm from. Well, I, I hope that's a good thing. That, that may be a good thing, actually, considering Hopefully the things you were talking about. I, I mean, if you to say we are light, you know, you never know. It's, Aye. I mean, it's weird how that K2 meter was going off something rotten. Or was it, what, what night was it, Dakota, that it was going off the scale at? What guests did we have on? Yeah, we had quite a few different guests, but it was... Uh, it was I think it oh, was, it was Craig. Craig Campobasso. That's that. That's that. That was the one that uh, we did the Spirit Box CE5. Then I went outside, then there was Phantom Lightning that yeah. still no record of being in the atmosphere. What's that, Dread? What's that? Others. Others? Ooh. It, and I'm from the light and then others. Is there anyone got a message for anyone in the chat? Make the K2 light up. Does MD in the chat feel anything? Do anybody today in the chat experience anything? I found it very strange tonight, Mike. The naked Bigfoot could not get in. Well, he could get in, but we couldn't hear him, and he couldn't hear us. Hey. Well. Pain. There you are. That's interesting. Keep trying to talk to us, but it tells us everything we need to know. You're not liking the fact that I'm working on that book about you, are you? I don't think it's that. I think it's something to do with Mike. I've not seen them in the park for about a week, maybe a week and a half. If anyone experiences anything, put it down, down below. Ask it a question, Drew. Try your hardest to communicate with us. Is there anything you need to call and Chris to know? Try using this app to tell them. Is there anything you need them to know? It's quite strange how it's not saying nothing. Oh, phone? This is a phone, this app's on. 
Do you need to talk to them? Is that what you mean? Phone? As in speak to them? Can you flash the K2 behind Dakota? There's Phoenix saying, uh, what's that? She uh, had a visit from the other night that caused her damn, some real interesting dreams. Damn, Pop my her, hand is in pain. Phoenix hand is in pain. Um, in the chat. And she said she's got another one. This is for the podcast, Phoenix. At the sight of my scar. Strange. Are you something to do yes, with Phoenix? Yes, I was Phoenix? here. Get out of here. Mm. Who's here? Barco, lie down. The dog's got to get an edge as well. Lie down then. It's okay, lie down. Who's here that you don't like being here? Move. Get. Move. Who's to get out of here? Scottish Outlooker. Scottish Outlooker. That's strange. I'm actually Googling toothache remedies on my phone because yes, I'm in I pain. Oh, That's I strange. That that. Last week. Yeah. Peppermint and clove oil. If there's anything here that wants to communicate with Dakota, can you please use this app to do it? And the K2. I'm wondering if it's anything to do with Scottish Outlooker because it said phone and then it said pain. Mm-hmm. Which is making me think, because I know he's got really bad to think. Oh, it's that figure. Figure. Is it the figure that Chris seen behind Dakota? Do you need to tell him something? Is that your hard to tell him? You can use my energy it, if you like. Is it an extraterrestrial? Oh, her voice. Dakota, what do you think? Her voice, voice, his daughter's voice. I wonder if it's Elena. Is it Olivia's voice? I'm only saying what comes to my head, by the way, Dakota. Elena. Is it Olivia's voice you need them to hear? Or is it your own voice? Dakota, ask if it's Elena. Strange, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Who's the messages for? Me or Dakota or Chris or somebody in chat? No, for me. Telling us? I think it's for Dakota. What's in shadow? What's in shadow? It's weird. I feel as if I can hear somebody writing. See, look, there's somebody Nelly. writing. Right, Nelly. Nelly's my sister. Nelly? Nelly's my sister. Does Nelly need to get a message? Oh, she had a bit of trouble earlier. Did she? Mm-hmm. Hope she's okay. Are you, are you, do you have a message for anyone in the chat? Scottish Outlooker? Phoenix? This is your Sorry. chance to tell them. Try your hardest to use words that they will know it's you. Such as my dog's called Sparkle. Home. 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 But I'll read it. I'm from the light. Others pain. Phone. Get out of here. Figure. Her voice. Nelly. Home. It makes you wonder if it's there's two spirits it makes you wonder if there's two entities here I'll call them entities because we don't know yeah. if they know there's ghosts yeah, it, could it be makes nice. you wonder uh, it makes you wonder if there's a good one here trying to get rid of a bad one mm-hmm. I keep getting weird can I, I don't know if anybody else in the chat can hear that but it's weird feedback mm-hmm. what's that Phoenix I feel someone that needs protection yeah. I don't know who I think it's my sister, Phoenix. She had a lot of trouble ever. She's actually pretty scared right now. I 
about a tail hail and Frank. 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 How about a tail hail and that you've got a back so this pair with Puma guides, which is also going to be Helen's guides because we're both sisters. How about a tail and that you've got a feels if it's for maybe Nelly because of the my ancestors plus protectors or the her protectors lately. Phoenix says I'm getting a feeling when I get that Flashing. something is going to happen. Look the quarterboard. It's okay guys if you see Dakota do that, don't panic ah, it's fine. Cool, okay? You you're try just... to tell her that you're gonna flash the K two. <laughs> try making it flash then please. I could hear a voice there, that's weird though. Try your hardest to affect the K2 meter behind the quarter. If you're not strong enough, do not say strong, Eric. Eric. Does anybody know an Eric Someone or a Frank? I know an Eric and a Frank. Someone needs protection now. Black Tormeal now. Tormeal now. I've got some over there, but it'll be fine. Right. It's not me, it's something else. It's affecting someone else. It's interesting. What were you hearing, Dakota? Anything, anything relevant? Didn't hear Nelly come through. Fine. Yeah. Usually what happens with the spirit talker is once you hear the words come through, then when you go off, you start relevant in your mind you start placing the words together and you usually figure out what they've been trying to tell you. That's why I like spirit talker. You usually figure it out what they've been trying to say all along. Try your hardest to keep affecting the K2, and then we know that who you're with. Phoenix says, I'm sorry, but these are just what I'm getting. I don't know who needs this. Yeah, Phoenix is I'm Phoenix is also a witch, guys. She knows air stuff as well. I'm wondering if it's something in the chat. Growl. Growl. Growling doesn't scare us. Usually spirits growl because they're frustrated. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to growl because you're frustrated at us? It might mean something else. It makes sense. Leave it with me now. Are you a man or woman? Sorry. Sorry. Don't be sorry, it's okay. Just keep trying to get your message across. Tell us why there's a strange atmosphere tonight. There's something looming in the skies. Is there something hand. about to happen? Hand. Is this ringing any bells with you, Dakota? Any of these words? Turn up. Pull it out. It will come relevant, no, if it's if it is spirit putting the messages through, it does come relevant because I use spirit talker all the time. And usually, you start to get it within about 10 minutes. You've got to try to tell me. I think this is, I think there's a message for Nelly in this and somebody in chat or a general. Paul. Paul? 
Paul is Wally's boss, whose wife's man's just died tonight. Her dad, sorry, just died tonight. That's Wally's boss. It could be also spirits in my home that's visiting. I didn't think to block them out before I went live. If it is spirits that's trying to contact me to get messages to people, can you please step back just now to try and communicate with what's with Dakota? And I will do a private session to get your messages to your loved ones, I promise. Okay? Cool. So, the K2 meter just went up there, turned the red. I'm happy. You're happy? Good. Glad you're happy. I think, I don't know what this is, but I think there's something no nice, but there's something nice that's trying to protect everybody. Plus there's sp other spirits wandering in. Mm -hmm. I didn't put any block. Look at Drew's face, everybody. Look at Drew's face. Our, our image is starting to... See it? Go on. Viking. Viking. Can I use the spirit box that the coat has got to hear so we can hear you? Let the coat hear your message. That's... Sue's fuzzy spirit in here. I don't know what that is, but Drew, your face is. Changing, it's weird. Well, that does that though sometimes. I've noticed it before when I'm live. My eyes go black as well, then they go blue. Try your hardest to communicate with us. Smith Family Paranormal, he's back. He never left. He never left. I'll be back in two seconds. Mason. Yeah, he definitely did me go. He's just moved the position so he wasn't so obvious for us to see him. He's definitely not went anywhere because I can feel his energy back again. <coughs> there you go. Try your hardest to communicate with us. Use your words on the spirit box, not this, so we can actually hear what you need from us. Let's hear your words. Mine. 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 And we know your, they're your words, that's why we need to hear them. We need to know what you want from us. What do you need from us? Are you here to warn us? Something's going to happen in the world. <clears throat> Is there something we've got? Is there an ability one of us possess that you need? Do you need to use that ability to help you? Is that why you need one of us? Are you a spirit or are you an alien? Hand, he keeps going on about hand. Mm -hmm. Because they feel like spirit, but spirits get oh, a different energy. Especially if it's good spirits, like spirits coming into contact with loved ones, it has like a different energy. Playing. 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 It makes me wonder when it said Mason and then it said hand. Because there's the secret handshake, but then mm. there's the all seeing eye with the hand. Right. <clears throat> so, which is making me think there's something. I think it's attached to somebody in the chat, to be honest with you. Try saying the name of the person in chat so that we, they know your message is for them. Negative. Negative. 
Do you have a hey, message you for someone in there? Was that the car? Come on. I know you want attention. Do you have a message for someone in the chat? You're going to make us Talk. work. Talk. Talk. You're going to make us work for every single bit of knowledge. Mm. Yeah, it makes it easy, do they? He's not going to make it easy, you can tell. They could easily tell you what they wanted. They just need to speak. I'm not telling you. Well, because it, with the know, I, if it is who we think, he's not going to tell us. Just know that we know you're around. Everybody in chat, just remember and bubble yourselves tonight, okay? Especially if you have got abilities, because he might just try and contact you. I've just burnt loads of sage in here. Just make sure you guys. House. <clears throat> house. My house is protected anyway. That's how you have to sit in the swing park, isn't it? On the swing, just dang on your legs. If you can't get in. I think the minute I told Jews that he was in the swing park, I think he hung about for another couple of days and then he wasn't there. It's as if he was trying to film me to think he was totally away, you know? Tell me why you sit in the swing park. Just to watch. That's an unusual name. Mm -hmm. It's an old name. Try telling the court of what you need. I don't know what it is, but I keep feeling like it's somebody in the chat. It's got something to do with somebody in the chat. Mm -hmm. I think it's to do with Phoenix or something. <clears throat> There's probably a, a normal spirit here as well, just trying to take advantage of us communicating. Mm -hmm. But. Burnt. You try to say that the things that were burnt is maybe blocking you because I have burnt all the sage and things in here. <laughs> I was burning it the other day of the night. Yeah, it's not been blocking it, the energies. He His favourite spell the last time they came around was my smoke alarm. Right. Do you love that we give you a line to communicate with us? Is that why you keep coming back? I hear you. I hear you. Because you know we open up a line of communication, <clears throat> is that why you come back? I keep thinking it's as if he Charlotte. wants. I keep thinking it's as if he wants his place. You know, he's a slender man. You hear his siren head and things these days. It's as if I feel as if he wants his place. I don't think it's. Don't believe. Do you not know what I mean? But there's a certain aspect mm -hmm. that kids don't believe in him either, and I think this is what he's pushing for. Is for him to be more than just that urban legend, you like. He wants the attention so he can feed and hurt more people. Yep. And he knows that you guys have, have the ability to get that out. Mm -hmm. Not just 
not my sister, my aunt, unless there's a sibling I don't know about there, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to look at chat so I can keep the concentration. I have an aunt named Charlotte, and she's been having some activity, too. There you go. Aggressive. Aggressive. Yeah, she can be. <laughs> <laughs> so what's with your poo? <clears throat> she won't put up with your poo, Shat. Keep using the energy that's around me, if you like, to operate this up. <clears throat> I don't mind you using my energy. Try it's a very need to know. It's right. a very interesting night tonight, Drain. You can drain me if you like. I'm going to bed <laughs> anyway. As long as you get your message yeah. out. That's something that I I disagree with. I says I don't I don't like giving them permission to take my energy. It's forbidden. Right. Because just you, you do that, it could be anything. It means Lord, it could take you. Yeah, I know, but I don't think whatever <laughs> with me right now is bad. I would feel it. I think that there's somebody trying to communicate. Well, there's multiple things trying to communicate. There's fam. There's. Mm-hmm. I think there's good. I think there's extraterrestrials, and I, I think guess. there's other. Had to, uh, last couple of times we did something like seemed like we drew an audience. Oh, why don't you call? Why don't? Hello. Yeah. It says. Let's take a screenshot of that. Has you heard anything in the spirit box that's relevant to Porter? Bits and pieces. Bodies. Ironically, right as you said, burnt. On the air pen. I bust out the good one, but... I did not have much of a charge right now. Charging port stuff on it. Remember you said tonight at the start of the live we were going on about big pile of bodies and burning. That's right. Like it's something was going on. The confirmation was. <clears throat> that the individual also said that the night we did that session, roughly the same time, something smacked him upside the head like it was trying to say, hey, pay attention, something's about to happen. Mm-hmm. We look in the sky tonight. Are we going to see anything? In Scotland, especially because the sky is so strange. Catch you later, Suze. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Thank you. Why can't we have to look at the skies above tonight, especially in Scotland? It's not just Scotland, it's everywhere. I know, but just it up here, the news, Chris, it's really here. You should look at sides. Mm, I, was, I was just, I don't know. But... Hmm. If anyone listening to the podcast side of this hears anything when it's uploaded, please come and leave a message below in the video on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, I'll be listening back with headphones on for sure. Often you don't hear anything until you do listen to it back. It's amazing what you can hear when you listen to things back. This is in. Hey, Panorama World. So, do you, Dakota, do you want to keep it going? Do you want to tell them about tomorrow live? Uh, yes. I'll go ahead and you know, close this down because I feel like whoever's wanting yeah. to talk wants to be private about it. So. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's 
<clears throat> it's not my usual method tonight of running 16,000 different devices and have them all talk to each other. I have a feeling mm-hmm. that'll happen. No. All right, yes. Uh, tomorrow. Chris, didn't you say that Lewis was going to try to come back? Yes, Lewis uh, will be coming on tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to be discussing some evidence that we've got. Um, uh, what's the other subject tomorrow, Dakota? Just evidence in general. Oh. Have Lewis come on? I honestly would like to know what kind of programs he utilizes for his enhancements. Mm-hmm. It's something I don't have. I want it. <laughs> we have we have some UFO evidence of my area, and especially the UFO that I seen was above Drew's house. Yep. So well, I have a, something Sherry sent my way while she was still in the state. And we'll bring up a couple of mine that are uh, a little bit more convincing than the others, so. Mm. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get a video of the night. The alien ship landing, the door opening, the guy coming out with the pointy ears. You know? So. I'm definitely going to try. I have never tried to do necrophonic outside to contact above, so tonight I think the skies are strange enough. I think mm. I'm going to try it. Mm. I'll record it. And if we don't see Drew again, don't worry, the aliens will eventually bring her back. <laughs> Look yeah, they'll eventually get to <laughs> But anyway, guys, it's been a brilliant night. And Mike, if you're watching, we'll get you back on another time. Obviously, there's just some weird stuff going on tonight. And we'll all see you tomorrow night. So That's catch you later, guys. That's what people don't realise, isn't it? I know. It's mm-hmm. very strange. Yeah, <laughs>